Hundreds of people are killed in floods across Africa every year. The damage runs into tens of thousands of dollars, but Tanzania now has a new approach. It sent drones into the sky above its biggest city to help it learn how the damage is done. The machines are creating 3D maps that are more detailed than ever before, as Dan Ashby reports. Every year, Dar es Salaam is besieged by floods. The tropical downpours destroy roads, buildings and homes and claim lives. Sometimes it seems the skies are relentless, but the answer may lie up here too. Tanzania's Science Commission has partnered with the World Bank to use drones to map floodplains. The sweeping aerials are combined with local knowledge, and the result are 3D maps so detailed they almost look real. It allows me to say to people, I make better maps than Google. To put a figure on that, Google Maps, when you look at it, the accuracy is anywhere from 25 up to 50 meters of accuracy, of error, let's say, whereas the maps which we are doing are centimeter of accuracy. It has, a, it has the potential to really impact millions of people's lives in Dar es Salaam and Tanzania. For the first time, authorities will be able to see the elevation of their communities and work out how best to stop flooding. In Tandale, it could help avert an almost annual disaster. There are thousands of people living here in houses that are cramped together with piles of waste and tiny streets, many of them by the riverbed. It's a death trap, but they hope that by mapping their land from the sky, they may be able to save lives. Tuma Winnie's five-year-old daughter drowned in floods here. He hopes the new maps will stop the cycle of loss. There was so much water that the pressure brought down a wall near my house and trapped my daughter. I rushed her to hospital, but it was too late. We need help. We need better drains. Our children are falling ill. They are dying. I may be standing before you today, but as soon as it rains, I will be running again. It's not enough for people like Juma just to have more information, though. It's about how that information is used. Having such a kind of data, it's easy for the community themselves to know where to, where to invest, for the decision makers to make the evidence-based decisions, because now they have the information, uh, this kind of load will be affected. So what to do? Maybe we have to do cleanliness, we have to allocate more resources to construct drains and so forth. It'll take months to get the final product ready for communities. This new use of the sky may be extraordinary, but what it all comes down to is what it can do for life on the ground. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.